Hello, this is Kat from the Crystal Inner Circle, and today we're going to be talking about birth charts. There are many places out there where you can get your birth chart for free. However, since we're only looking at your moon sign, rising sign, and your sun sign, we don't really need anything complicated. Therefore, I suggest you go to Astrolabe, which is at alabe.com forward slash free chart. You'll see the text come up on your screen, but I'll also link it down below the video. Once you enter Astrolabe, you can just put in your name, uh, skip over the email address, it's not necessary. Um, put in your gender, your date of birth, the time you were born, the city and country and state, if applicable, where you were born as well. Now, the time you were born is pretty important, so try to get to it as close as possible. Um, if you're unsure, you can check your birth certificate or do what I did. Ask your mom. I'm a mom myself, and I know I know my kids' birth times. You can see once your birth chart loads, you'll have your standard-looking birth chart, um, but that's not really what we're looking at right now. Um, the first thing you want to check is you want to make sure that all the information that you input is correct. The next thing we'll be looking at is the rising sign, the sun sign, and your moon sign. These are the three aspects that we'll be focusing on right now. Your sun sign is what most of you likely already know. This is simply calculated by the day and month of your birth. Your sun sign is your zodiac personality. It covers all aspects of who you are as a person. The sun in astrology is the giver of life. It represents our conscious mind, our ego, and our creative life force. Just as the planets revolve around the sun in our solar system, we derive our life purpose from the sun in our birth charts. Your sun sign governs your personality, while your moon sign represents your emotions. It's widely considered the second most important influence in your birth chart after the sun. Your moon sign is calculated by your full date of birth, plus the time and place you were born. All of this data is needed to accurately depict where exactly the moon was at your time of birth. If you think of the sun as your spirit, then the moon would be your soul. It is the pillar of the emotional self. Just as it controls the tides of the ocean, it controls the tides deep within us. Your rising sign, also known as your ascendant, is the sign that was rising on the eastern horizon at the time of your birth. If you know the time you were born, your rising sign can be calculated to the exact degree. Your rising sign, house, cusps, and points derived from these points are the most time-dependent factors on a birth chart. Your rising sign defines, in part, the first impression we make on others. It covers everything from your appearance to your attitude and demeanor. It is commonly referred to as the mask we wear in public. If people always assume you're a different sign than your actual one, you might find out the mistaken sign is indeed your rising sign. Your rising sign also represents your expectations of the world around you and your spontaneous reactions, things such as whether you are more naturally cautious or outgoing, for example. Once you have your sun, moon, and rising sign, you may be wondering how you complete the final step, finding which crystal to use for each sign on your birth chart. No worries there, we have tons of information in the crystal astrology community to assist you on your way. The library contains many helpful documents, including which crystals work best for each sign. You can also post on our form with any questions you may have, and I'll answer them right away. For reference, here's a chart with the top recommended crystal for each sign. Keep in mind there are often multiple stones associated with each sign, but the ones shown here are the most agreed upon. For example, in my chart from earlier, it stated my sun sign is Sagittarius, my moon sign is Leo, and my rising sign is Gemini. Therefore, I could use topaz to assist with my personality traits, onyx to help with my emotional tendencies, and a gate for my impression on others and how I view the world. I hope you've enjoyed this video on finding your sun, moon, and rising sign in three easy steps. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.